Hi there. In this video, I just want to give you a real quick basic understanding of differentials, what they are, what they're used for, um, and kind of their importance. So uh, we'll look at the idea behind it, and then in the next video, we'll do a couple of examples. So real quickly, what's a differential? Well, you could think of a differential as just a really, really tiny number. Uh, think of it this way. Think of, uh, let's say you had, let's say you had a value right here called C. Okay, there's C. And then you had this really small, small increment. We're going to make it big, though. We're going to make it look like it's big, but we're going to pretend that it's really small. Okay, so we say that, that this change right here is delta x. So this x coordinate right here would be C plus delta x. And remembering that, that delta x is really just a, a very tiny number. Okay, so uh, let's go look at some y values now. If we map c to right here, this guy is going to be f of c. This would be f of c right here. And this argument should look familiar if you've explored the, the topic and idea of a derivative. This guy right here is going to be f of c plus delta x. Whoops, that's a delta x right there. Okay, so what's a, a differential then? How does that jive with what we, we know about derivatives? Well, if you look very carefully at the tangent line here at C, let's see if I can draw this uh, tangent line here. I'll get my line tool. Let's see if this works. Oops, try this. That'll, that'll probably work. Okay, so this is supposed to be tangent. This is supposed to be tangent at this point right here. Okay, well, real quickly, if you look at the slope of this tangent line, what's its run? Well, its run is right here. And what is that run? Uh, well, it's the length of delta x. But recall from your, your study of derivatives that we typically call this dx. Okay? So the dx refers to the run for the slope of this tangent line here. And then this distance right here, that rise right there, we could call dy. Okay, now if you look very carefully at this picture, uh, dx happens to equal delta x. So we can write that. dx equals delta x. Okay, but if you look at dy, okay, if you look at dy and if you look at what we might call delta y, what is delta y? Delta y would be this actual change from f of c to f of c plus delta x. In other words, it's just it's just this height right here. So let's do this uh, maybe in a different color so that you can see it a little better. So from right right about here to here, this would be that would be delta y. Now what you have to keep in mind is that these these dx's and delta x's, dy's and delta y's, they're very, very tiny numbers. I've just kind of blown them up a little bit. So we see that dx actually equals delta x, but if you look carefully here, d, dy is just a really good approximation of delta y. Okay, it's not equal to it because we have this little space right here where they're different. dy is all the way up to the tangent line. And delta y is just this distance right here. Well, I want you to think back to uh, this idea of a derivative. Okay, well, what did we say derivative was? Let's just, let's take, uh, let's take, uh, let's take y equals x squared. Okay, when you went to find this derivative, you said something like this. You said dy dx, which stands for the rise over the run equals 2x and hopefully you were taught that this is the slope of a tangent line. So this is really a slope right here and this is just notation that describes that slope. Well um, if we if we manipulate this just a little bit um, or, or think of it this way, what, what if we knew the slope of a line and we knew the run of a line but we didn't know the rise? What, what's one way we could figure out what that rise was? Well we could multiply we could multiply that slope which in this case is 2x, we can multiply it by the run. 
Okay, so this right here is the idea of a of a differential. The the rise or the vertical change in y could be described as the slope multiplied by this horizontal run, this horizontal change in x. Okay, more generally speaking, we could say dy is equal to, well, what if this was just, what if it wasn't 2x? What if it was just the derivative of some random function? Well, it would be f prime times dx. So here we have some language, or not language, I don't know why I just said language. We have some notation that gives us a, a very good approximation of what delta y actually is. We have dy is equal to the derivative of our function multiplied by uh, this thing we call the differential of x or the horizontal change. So um, dy, this dy right here can be, or not can be, is equal to f prime of x times dx, which is approximately delta y. Okay, so you can actually use now this, this dy to approximate this entire height right here uh, by this simple little formula right here. Okay, in the next video what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at an example using this idea. Um, again, if you missed it, uh, what is a differential? A differential is a really small number. A differential is uh, this guy. We call this the differential of x and we call this guy the differential of y. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video and we'll look at some examples.